Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So today I'm going to show you how to uh, root your uh, AT&T Galaxy S2 on the official ICS um, or any ICS it will work 4.0.3, I'm on UCLE 5 there um, So let's go ahead and do it uh, Connect a micro USB cable to your computer and to your phone and hold down volume up, volume down and the power button so you can put it into download and download mode hold Down a little bit longer and uh, basically we're gonna go install Sia Kernel over Odin which auto roots your phone and I highly recommend Sia Kernel, it's a great kernel hit volume up and once it's in download mode let's go to our computer uh, go ahead and download Sia uh, dash I'll have links below uh, v3.2.6.4.tar and also Odin uh, v185 you'll get uh, unzip unzip the Odin, you'll get a folder called that um, go ahead and run the Odin program and uh, you should get uh, some kind of comp sign here if you don't get this, you don't have uh, drivers installed, simply download Samsung keys, I'll have download links for that uh, run it and then uh, unplug your phone, plug it back in, you should get that yellow thing and also if you're having trouble um, e even with the keys installed, go ahead and go to task manager and uh, kill any processes that start with KIES keys Alright, so you should get to this point and uh, if you have the drivers installed you can go check it at device manager um, this is for Windows, I'll have a separate instruction set for Mac and Linux also coming today um, that way you guys don't get left out since uh, you know, I was gonna do it for gingerbread but I you know I don't have time to do everything uh, under uh, USB serial bus controllers you should have Samsung Mobile U USB CDC composite device. So we're all done with this. Let's go to PDA, um, choose the uh, SIA, uh, the TAR file, the 3.2.6.4 that you downloaded, hopefully. Open, start, and that will flash the kernel. And uh, that's pretty much it. And you get the yellow triangle after you root your phone, but don't worry about it, it doesn't do anything to your phone. And there's actually a way to uh, get rid of it. Um, you can get rid of it with the triangle app. Um, and also you can reset the binaries by uh, unrooting with mobile Odin, which I'll also have instruction of. So let me s switch the camera angle real quick here. And boom, my phone already booted up. Um, it should have super user now. You don't need this cable anymore. And uh, you should be on the SIA kernel also. And uh, you'll see that you got super user, yippee! Um, hit OK, and you can go to preferences. Um, now, it's uh, it's basically rooted. The kernel auto roots your phone, and uh, also, whoops, let's go to home um, settings, and also about phone. Android uh, 4.0.3 kernel, SIA kernel. Also, this kernel gives you overclocking. All you need to do is download set CPU. Um, you can download it for free at XEA. Install the AP APK file, and you can overclock using SIA kernel to 1.6 gigahertz. On top of that, you can also um, do stuff like uh, dual boot with the SIA kernel. So, highly recommend it. Roots your phone. Easy. Uh, you got your phone rooted. There you go. Um, and I'll have another set on using Heimdall to install it for uh, Linux or Mac. Anyway, if you have an AT&T Galaxy S2 or uh, any of the you know Galaxy S2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once or twice a week with ROM of the Week, and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble with your phone. And also if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here, uh, subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. And use that share button down here to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And uh, stay high on Android. And, of course, don't buy an iPhone. It sucks.